right, guys and dolls, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. You know you're goofy when you try to put on a pair of earrings, but you already have a pair on. <laughs> Y'all quit laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay. So before I get started today, I want to talk to you about why narcissists... Okay, no. Do they believe their own lies? Okay. Uh, yeah, but I want to talk to you first about gaslighting. Gaslighting is so crucial because <clears throat> they will always gaslight. Gaslighting is when <clears throat> they tell you that did not happen. They are not that way. Um, you read that wrong, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but that's not that, that they're trying to deny your reality by telling you that that's not what happened. But you were there, so you know what happened, okay? And in the situation with the social group that I told you about, Meetup, there were a lot of witnesses to the individual's behavior, and the word got back to me. I didn't go putting the word out there. The word was already out there that this person was garbage. So um, that's what happens. People are going to find out. When you're that brazen about how awful you behave and how inconsiderate you are and how backstabbing you are, people notice. And then the person who was backstabbed on was told by this other person what went down, what the, what the snake slid over to her and said, and, and she went and told the other person. So word starts to spread, um... When you backstab people, it, it just bites you on the ass. And like I said, when there's witnesses to the behavior, you know, the person's kind of screwed because, I mean, come on. And they're so bold and they're so brazen with the crap that they do. So they don't really care at the time who sees anything. They're just determined to get their way. And whoever's neck they have to step on to get it, that's what they're going to do. But when you confront them on their behavior. They always, always, always lie. And they always tell you that's not what happened. Uh, they diminish their behavior and that's called gaslighting. They're verbally lying, trying to alter your reality and the reality of what actually happened. So let's move on. Uh, let's see. This is by, this article is on psychology today by Aaron Leonard. A L E O N A R D L E O N A R D. She has a PhD in psychology. Okay. PhD in psychology. Does the narcissist believe his or her own lies? So narcissists live and die by their own version of the truth. Is it the truth? If reality has been distorted A narcissist believe it is. They believe it is extreme cognitive distortions and rigid unconscious defense mechanisms change a person's perception of an experience. Paramount distortions and defenses are typically employed by a person with a narcissistic personality disorder. Both alter reality in order to make it more palpable for a fragile ego. Ego. For example, say a narcissist loses a doubles tennis match. Instead of incurring the loss responsibly, the narcissist tends to blow up the partner's mistakes and minimize his or her own, denying the extent of his or her mistakes and amplifying the partner's errors allows the narcissist freedom to deflect accountability for the loss and blame the partner. The narcissist protects a weak ego with deflection, projection, minimization, displacement, denial, and blame. By unconsciously altering reality, the narcissist exonerates himself or herself, or herself, at least in their twisted brain they do. In contrast to a narcissist's extreme and unconscious distortions and defenses, a person who works hard to be aware of cognitive distortions and defenses possesses, um, possesses insight. Um... We, we, those of us that are non-narcs, we hold ourselves responsible for our own behavior. Narcs have a um, very, very fragile 
easily broken, easily crushed ego. So they always lie and project, project. What they have done, they project it onto others. You are this. You are that. You, 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 you. Because they cannot accept the fact that they're a complete loser. They can't accept that. So they blame everybody and project onto everybody. Um, insight is what you have when you take responsibility for your behavior. Self-awareness and a capacity for introspection allows a person to capture an honest and realistic gaze of herself or himself in the situation, resulting in an ability to sincerely admit fault, feel true remorse, learn from mistakes, and evolve. Narcs can't do any of that. The person may have a unique perception of an event, but it remains closely tied to reality when they're not, when you're a non-narc because it is not impacted by a rigid, unconscious, defensive structure of overactive distortions. Damn, girl, damn. She's, she's tearing it up in this article. She's not playing around. Unfortunately, this poses a problem. If narcissists lack insight and the ability to be introspective, they may be unaware of their distortions. So how are they expected to be accountable if awareness of what they are doing is non-existent? Yet, if they are not held responsible for their actions, they are free to blame and mistreat others when they are the culpable party. The answer to this question may be complicated, but enlightening. A, person, a narcissist may not be aware of his or her unconscious distortions and heightened defenses, but is somewhat cognizant of his or her behavior. So they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Lee Hammock is on YouTube, black guy with dreads. He is a self-aware diagnosed narcissist. And he says, we know what we're doing. We know exactly what we're doing. And we know that we're lying. Okay. Um, the distortions in a narcissist's mind justifies the negative behavior. They feel entitled to teach someone a lesson and frequently does so inappropriately. Okay. For example, a narcissist believes she is a fair and equ equitable supervisor, yet due to the person's distorted black and white thinking, they idealize several employees and devalues others. When a disgruntled employee is tired of being treated poorly and asks for a transfer, the narcissist acts out in anger and with revenge. They contact the employee's potential new supervisor and sabotage the employee's attempt to transfer. Keeping the person under their thumb, they continue to passively, aggressively punish the employee. Um... They are not conscious of idealizing and devaluing defense mechanism. They're devaluing de defense mechanisms, but they're well aware of their actions, well aware of their actions. And they feel absolutely justified and entitled to behave the way they do. That's why you can't resolve a conflict with them. They stand by their distorted version of reality, which fuels a tendency to bully and mistreat others. When a person offers a more realistic account, the narcissist reacts as if the person is lying. <laughs> wow. So if you imagine... Oh, I don't have anything on me right now. Okay, I got this. I'll use this. All right. This is their, this is a normal person thinking, right? And this is a narcissist thinking. Twisted. Demented. Unreal. That is not what actually took place. But because their thought process is twisted and deformed and demented, and their twisted logic, that's what's happened. You know, that's what happened. Um, there are also incidents where they uh, uh, they appear to be accountable, but they're actually manipulating. 
um, narcissist often unconsciously uncorp incorporate a victim stance. That's one of their favorite things to do. They love to play victim. Everybody's after me. The whole world's attacking me. Um, again, that twisted um, unreality, okay? They want people to feel sorry for them. They want to lay down, play dead, and be the victim. They just really get a kick out of that. The problem is when everybody is aware, either through witnessing with their own eyeballs or through hearing other people's accounts of what they dealt with with this person, they all know what went down. So it really doesn't matter how much they twist and how much they play victim because the other people may go along with it. Like, yeah, that's awful. That's just too bad. And then when the person walks away, they're like, give me a break. We know what really went down. People are not dumb. They think that people are blind walking around with no eyeballs in their head. And they don't see what's happening. Come on, give me a break. They always, yeah, they love to be a victim. Um, sometimes they say they're sorry when they're not. Um, they give, this gives an example of a, a man forgot his wife's birthday and he blames her typical narcissist move. You did not remind me. All I do is work to support you. So no wonder you forgot or no wonder I forgot. I worked so hard for you. I don't have time to remember anything else. My ex forgot my birthday every year. So it shouldn't be a big deal that I forgot your birthday one time. See how they quite, they justify no matter how wrong they are, they will always, always, always lie. And they will always, always, always justify. Always. Always. That's a guarantee. Whoa. And I just did something. Okay. I think we're back. All right. They'll always lie. That's never going to, that's never going to change. I will check that later. Okay. So I got long legs and they tend to get in the way sometimes. Okay, so it may be true that he works hard or had an ex that forgot his birthday, but the remainder of the rant is him playing victim in order to escape responsibility. By acting like he was the person who was wronged, he transfers the blame to his partner. Does any of this sound familiar? For those of you that had to deal with these demons? Um, conveniently excusing his behavior, he pivots on a cognitive distortion and reinvents himself as the actual victim. Okay. Which is really disgusting that they do that. And like I said, come on, there's witnesses to the behavior. Um, when you're, a, when you're a nasty person, your reputation spreads worse than COVID and no running around like a gerbil, gerbil on a wheel, running, 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 trying to clean it up. It's, it's too late. It's out there. Okay. Um. <laughs> if the person has more authority than the narcissist, the narcissist quickly cowers and grovels. It becomes clear the narcissist may not actually feel sincere remorse. However, because he or she readily engages in the negative behavior behind the person's back, they will readily do that. When a hurtful behavior is repeated endlessly, Within the context of an interpersonal relationship, it is proof that the person does not feel authentic and deep remorse for selfish behavior. They never feel remorse. Never. They'll only be fake remorseful if there's something in it for them if they do that. Okay? Uh, so a narcissist is aware of his or her behavior, but unaware of the psychological, sorry, my phone is unaware of the psychological mechanisms that compel and justify the behavior. So an individual suffering from NPD must be highly motivated to address the issue of compromised insight and introspection. If he or she is unwilling, the mistreatment of others may continue indefinitely. They're never going to stop. They're never going to stop. They're never going to stop lying. They're never going to stop gaslighting people. Um, that is the reason why I teach you guys about narcissism because knowledge is power. And when you see the typical behavior, it's almost like they went to college to learn to be a narcissist because they all do the same shit. Okay. 
<laughs> you think we don't notice that? Come on! Like people all of a sudden don't have eyeballs. We're all blind. We're all deaf. And we have no clue what their person is doing. Everybody sees it. Come on. Their eyes were not removed with a spoon. Their ears were not removed either. We see what goes on. And their behavior is almost identical. It's like they went to college for this and they all got a degree in learning how to be a narcissist because they all do the same exact behavior. The pathological lying, the twisting of reality, um, deny, deny, deny. When all else fails, roll over, play dead, squeeze some tears out if you have to. Some of them are notorious for that. Okay. You can, it's almost like they push their belly button and make the tears come out. And it's all manipulation. It's all bullshit. So um, knowledge is power. And when you recognize the behavior, then you know it's time for you to reevaluate this situation, get rid of this person. The behavior is never going to... I want to say it doesn't change, but it does change. It gets worse. As they get older, their behavior gets worse. It gets worse. So that's sad. That's a sad reality that they get worse, but nevertheless, it's true. And Lee, somebody had asked him on TikTok, um, do you know you're a narcissist? Does narcissists know they are narcissists? He said, we know something is wrong with us. We know that our thought process is different. We know that we're not totally normal, that we don't really fit in with other people. We don't think like other people. So we know that something is off. And he got clarity because his wife was like, you are a narcissist. And he's like, no, you're a narcissist. Um... And then when he went to counseling, he actually was diagnosed with being a narcissist. So he's been in therapy for four years. He will, he has informed us that he will be in therapy forever. Um, their brain is not like ours. Um, when you do scans of the person's brain, their brain does not look like a normal brain. And they could deny that all day and twice on Sunday, the scans, the scientists, um, the scientific proof is there that their thought process is not the same. There's different colors in the computer that show scans of a normal brain and normal thought processes and scans of a person with abnormal thought processes. The colors are different on the computer. Everything looks different. So there's scientific proof that there's something wrong with them in their head, which we already know that we see it through their ridiculous behavior, you know? And, de and denying reality. So, um, yeah, twisted, demented thought process. It never untwists. Um, they always will have a demented thought process. They will always lie and say that did not happen. They will always, and that's called gaslighting. Remember that term, gaslighting. Um, if any of you are interested in hearing directly from a narcissist's mouth, his name is Lee Hammock, H-A-M-M-O-C-K. And it's called Mental Healness. He's also on TikTok, YouTube, TikTok. Yeah. So he'll do like these little shorts on TikTok. And then he will show you the shorts on YouTube. And then he will do a longer explanation of those shorts. And it's really nice to hear it directly from a narcissist who takes responsibility for their behavior because they almost never do that. Never. That's just rare, but he lost everything. He lost his wife. Um, she, she took the son and she was like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm out. And they, she left him a few times. And finally he, he bottomed out. And when there was no one else at the house to blame for his actions and the result of his actions, when there was no one else at the house to point fingers at, he came to the reality that there is something going on with me. I don't want my life to look like this. And he went to therapy and I will always commend him for that. I will always think he's an amazing person for taking responsibility for his own behavior. They never do that. They never do that. He is rare. He is extremely rare. I'm not saying he wasn't in denial at some point before he was diagnosed, but he's at the point now where he's 1000% not only fully aware of what he does and what narcissists do. He uses his platform to educate others 
and to teach other people about this is what narcs do. This is what we do. We always lie. And sometimes we lie for no reason. You know? So Lee Hammock, if you ever want to check out his page, he is so good. Um, he does one-on-ones with people with um, coaching. I do coaching as well. And if you're interested in learning more, you could either talk to me, talk to him, watch his videos. And, you know, I've had on-the-job training. I've dealt with narcissists ever since I was born. So that's on-the-job training, okay? And a person can deny it all day and twice on Sunday. They all do the same shit. They all lie. They all trick. They all distort reality. They all gaslight. They all bullshit. They all have fake charm. Um, they don't have empathy for other people. They're dead inside. You know, you could tell them that you lost your whole family in a terrible 25 car accident, you know, multiple cars where your family members, they all got killed. And that person would just look at you like this and have no reaction because they don't think like we do and they don't behave like we do. Like I said, the computer scans will show a dysfunctional brain and a normal brain, and it's a completely different ball game. So I'm sure if they were to see proof of their own brain scan, they would say, that's not, that's not true. How long has the tech been do working here? Because they don't know how to operate the computer. That's not my brain. How do I know that that wasn't switched with someone else's records? I mean, come on, the line of bullshit is as long as the Mississippi River. Because they love to deny a lie. And they will lie until they die. I love you guys. Take care. Happy Sunday. Do not text and drive. No text is worth dying for. Y'all take care.